What's up guys, you're watching Dextech Pro. Imagine losing all your important files, installed apps or custom Windows settings in just the blink of an eye. It's a scary, right? Well, that's why backing up and restoring your Windows system is not just important, it's essential. Whether your system crashes, gets infected with malware, or you accidentally delete something critical, having a reliable backup can save you from hours or even days of stress and frustration. But what if you could just create a bootable USB flash drive to handle all of this, even when Windows refuses to start? Well, today, I'm gonna be diving into exactly how you can make this happen ensuring your peace of mind and the safety of your data. If you are a beginner or even an advanced user, this is right video for you. You ask me why? Because I'll guide you step by step on creating a bootable USB flash drive to backup, restoring your system, and even recovering installed apps outside of the Windows. By the end of this video tutorial, you will feel confident handling your own Windows safety net like a pro. Okay, first of all, go to CloneZilla's official website and click on download link on the left side. I totally recommend you downloading the stable version rather than the alternative one. So click to download. Now here is the tricky part that most people get confused about. You should leave the CPU architecture as AMD64 because this one supports both AMD and Intel CPUs. Change the file type from zip to ISO and hit download. Your downloaded file should look something like this, as you can see here guys. The second thing we need to download is Rufus. Go to rufus.ie, scroll down, hit the latest version and download it. There it is. Click on Rufus to start. Connect your USB stick to the USB port and make sure Rufus detects it here. Then click the select button to choose our downloaded clonezilla.iso file. I choose MBR because my HDD partition scheme is. And for the target system, I use BIOS or UEFI. Then I leave everything else alone and click start. Click OK. And again, click OK. You gotta wait until Rufus makes our bootable Clonezilla USB stick ready. So to be clear, what I've done so far is downloaded advanced backup software called Clonezilla and a bootable USB maker called Rufus. Then I started to make a bootable USB backup manager because this process should happen outside of the Windows operating system, not when it's up and running. That's very important guys. With this backup method, you won't need to reinstall Windows, drivers, its programs, or your applications anymore. It's a life and time saver, guys. Believe me. This means that whenever your Windows or apps act up or don't even boot up, you just boot up your computer with this USB stick and restore your backup files by Clonezilla. It's just a few clicks and boom. Okay, the bootable USB stick is ready. As you can see, I have Windows installed with this software. So I'll start the process by restarting my computer and booting from the USB stick to back up my C drive where the system and app files are. So let's restart it. Okay, here it is. I select USB HDD to boot up. And here we are, the Clonezilla. Hit enter. Hit enter again to choose English as the default language. This is the keyboard layout. No need to change it. Hit enter. Select the first option to start Clonezilla. Select device image, the first one, and press enter. It asks where to save the backup image. I go with the first option, which is my computer's hard disk drive. Press enter as it asks to continue. Now it detects all the disks connected to my computer as you can see. Press Ctrl C to continue. It asks you to choose a partition to save the backup image file. Here, my computer has two hard disk drives, guys. The first hard disk drive has two partitions, C and D, and the second hard disk drive has only one partition labeled D. Since I want to back up my C or system drive, I can't choose this partition to save the backup image, okay? I should just choose another partition, so I go for the last one, which is E on disk 2. 
This option asks if you want to just scan and check the partition to ensure your backup file image is accessible. I skip this part because I am confident this drive is healthy and has no issues. So I leave it as default and choose the first option. Now this option is for when we've already created the backup image file and want to restore it. I skip it because I don't have that backup file yet. I just want to create it first, right? So select abort and hit done to skip this part. Press enter to continue. Leave the option to beginner mode and hit OK. In this part, select second option and press enter to continue. Now give the backup file a name or leave it as is. I named the file Windows Image with Software. Then hit OK. Here, I choose the first partition, which is C drive, where my Windows and all software are installed. Clonezilla starts to make a backup of it and then I hit OK. This option compresses the file size of the backup image file. I leave it as default because it's faster and results in the smaller file size. Then hit OK. This option asks if you want to check or repair the C drive beforehand. I skip it by leaving the option as default and hit OK. This option checks the backup file or ensure it's restorable after creation. Since it's important to me to make a restorable backup, I choose yes and hit OK. Next, it asks you if you want a backup file encrypted. I choose not to encrypt the image file and hit OK. Finally, it asks what Clonezilla should do after everything is finished, like entering the command prompts, restarting or shutting down. I choose the first option to ask me first, then hit enter to start. It asks, do you want to continue? Type Y for yes. Now the process starts creating the image file from C drive and saving it to D drive and finally testing the backup image file to ensure it's restorable. This process takes time depending on the size of your Windows installation and installed software. The good news is that it backs up everything for you guys, including your Windows settings and software configurations. This means that when your Windows crashes and doesn't boot up, you don't need to reinstall fresh windows, drivers, updates, or software anymore. You just boot up your computer with this magic USB stick, find the backup image file that you already created, and restore it immediately. In the next part, I will delete everything on C drive and start to restore this image to show you how useful this tool is for troubleshooting. Now, the backup file is created and it's being tested to ensure it's healthy and restorable. The testing is finished and there is no problem. That's the good news. Hit enter and finally choose reboot to restart the computer. Now I'm back to Windows. Let's go and find the backup image file. It's in E drive inside the Windows image software folder and here are the related files. If I show you the size of this image backup file and compare it with C drive files, the backup size is 17 gigabytes, whereas the C drive file size is 54 gigabytes. So the backup file is 37 gigabytes smaller than the original files on C drive, which is a great compression in my opinion. Now the backup is created and ready to restore whenever I need it. In this part of the video, I will create a scenario where my Windows doesn't boot up. The worst case scenario is that there is no even Windows installed on C drive at all. I restore this backup file and everything will be back as it was. To do this, I restart and boot up my computer with the Windows installation USB stick that I already created for this video. I stop here where I see all partitions on my computer. I select my C drive where Windows is installed and click Format to wipe out all Windows and data. Then I close and restart my computer. And here it is. There is no Windows and the system has nothing to boot up. Now here is the magic guys. I connect the Clonezilla bootable USB stick to the computer, restart and boot it up to restore the backup image file. Hit enter, select language and press enter. Hit enter again. And again, choose the first option and press enter, first option and press enter, press ctrl c.
Now, I choose the third option, which is partition E on disk 2, because my backup image file is saved there, if you remember it, guys. I don't want to check or repair, so I hit enter. Now, here is the part where I restored the backup image. Since I've saved the backup file on disk 2, which has one partition labeled D drive, and I previously chose the disk in Clonezilla, I am on the root. I just need to scroll down, find my backup folder named Windows Image with Software, select it, and hit the Done button. Select the first option as Beginner Mode and press Enter. Choose option number 4, restore an image to local partition, then hit Enter. It finds the backup image file, I hit OK. It shows that this image will be restored to C partition. Select that partition and hit OK. Leave it on the first option, which is the target partition C drive, and hit OK. Do I want to check the backup image? No, because I already checked it when I created it. So I choose the second option and hit OK. I leave it as default to ask for a restart and hit Enter to continue. Now it starts restoring the backup image from E drive to C drive. Once done, I just need to restart my computer and everything will be back as it was. The windows drivers and settings, the software and everything else. So this is how you can back up and restore your operating system with all installed software and their settings, guys. Okay, the restoration is finished. I choose to reboot my computer and here it is, guys. Windows and software are back totally intact. I want you to support my effort by giving this video a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section and that's the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Dexec Pro YouTube channel. channel.